Hello everyone, my name is Alan Kroszewski, I'm Engineering Manager for Security Policies team at GitLab and today I would like to quickly show you uh, our script to prepare demo environment and testing environment automatically. So we have prepared a project called Automatic Demo Environment where we try to create a script that would allow us to, uh, to automatically create group project with enabled security policies and with some merge requests we did that because we would like to speed up a little bit our verification, we would like to help with writing end-to-end -end tests for it, so we'd like to have one place that we could quickly create the demo environment for uh, either demo purposes or testing purposes. We would like it to be consistent across our group uh, to speed up the verification process. This is the main thing that we would like to achieve. Uh, that's why we have created this project. And in this project, we have really small script uh, which we are using actually to, to read and create uh, groups, project policies using uh, GitLab CLI and other APIs as well. Um, so first of all, uh, in the readme file, you can find some information what, what you can do with that. So first of all, you need parent group ID, and this is the group ID that you'd like to, uh, to create um, groups in. So let, let me go to uh, our group, I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of the group that we already have here. So let it be this one. I'm gonna just go and gonna grab this group ID and I'll go to code and I'm gonna here. Okay, so this is the same one. So I would, what I would like to do here, I would like to create a group called group demo one, two, three. I'm, I don't want to delete it. After you create it, you can rerun the script and change the delete to true, and this will delete the group for you. So it's great if you'd like to quickly spin up the environment, test something, and just delete it and clean it. I'm gonna use a path called like group demo one to three. I can set uh, users, maintainers, for example, I can specify that oh, I would like to add this user as a maintainer, uh, this user with this ID, if you're curious about your ID or the ID of the user uh, you would like to you know, get some information from, you can find the user ID here in the GitLab profile. Um, okay, within this group, I'm gonna create a project called test project, and this test project will be an empty project, and I'm gonna have a uh, merge request created here with the branch called update readme, and that will contain only changes made to the readme uh, file and we're gonna update the readme file. This will be the title of the comet, and this will be the content. So after we create the MR, we're gonna change the, uh, the content of the readme file. Then we're gonna have another project. It will be called importer project, because you can also specify the import URL. Um, and this way you can use the project you already have. You can use it as some kind of template for you and, and your demo environment as well. So instead of creating everything from scratch, you can just import it by, by specifying the import URL. And then I'm gonna create some policies. So uh, for the first project, I'm gonna use the first uh, the policy with ID 001. As you can see in the in the policies uh, folder, you can find this policy. This will be a very simple policy uh, to enforce can execution policy. Um, and and second one is for test. The, the way it works, um, you can either specify the ID and you can add more policies. Uh, or you can specify the URL with the policy YAML file from the project that you're already using and you have access to. And then as well, I would like to create a merge request here with some content. And instead of like providing the content as a text, you can also specify the content URL. And this way uh, you will be able actually to create the um, some changes to the readme file uh, by using external file as well, okay? Uh, the main question is how to run it. The, to run it, first of all, you need to, as it's specified in a readme file, um, you need to have Ruby installed, you have to have uh, configured uh, GitLab CLI and authenticated, and uh, and then you need to prepare the uh, configuration YAML file. And this is what we have here. So I'm gonna just jump into iTerm and I'm gonna just run Ruby Automation RP. And uh, what it will do, it will say a few things, you'll see in the logs what, what's actually happening. So you see that we created a group, we're adding a member. Sometimes when member is not able to be uh, added because there is already of the project, it will say failed. 
although like the that means that user is still in the project but you see like next steps are are working properly so we are creating new merge requests creating project and in, in parent group and so on so i'm gonna go to to gitlab right now um and i'm gonna see if if this new group is being created with this project okay here we have it so group demo one to three we have already some projects let's take a look at the first project test project as you can see we already have the merge request here you can jump and you can see that merge request is there and that we actually made the change that we wanted so i can i can now go back to our group demo once again i can go to imported project and we're going to wait a little bit for the merge request to be created here okay here we are and we have a pipeline that is currently running and we have some small changes that we've made just to just to show it as you can see all right you can play with it um, we would like to extend it in the future to allow for more possibilities but uh, if you'd like to use it feel free go to um, GitLab org govern security policies project and this automatic demo environment and you can see how it works. Um, thank you.